So today is going to be the first flight with no wind where the setup is correctly. So anything can happen. Oh, you're filming it. Nice. So whatever I said, I wasn't thinking about it. It just came out of my mouth. Well, that's the truth. Then. <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> whatever happens, it's going to happen. But this here is the uh, MD-500 modified to fly for the military. And the guys from the uh, 168th Squadron, they do the Black Ops. They do the uh, Special Ops kind of stuff. They carry the soldiers in the back. And that's why I have my little guy back there moving around, moving with the gun. And uh, <clears throat> if you look on the center pedestal here, you will see all kinds of radios. And the radios they have here is for communication with the ground, communication with the guys in the air, so he can communicate with pretty much anyone behind them. And, uh, but they're always the first ones at that certain location. Uh, there's these guys from the 160th. They're so good. They don't even need this here. I made a little map But they don't even need that because they these guys they can navigate in the dark in the dust in the snow It doesn't matter. They can do it all. So if any of the 160th guys are Watching this video get in touch with me because I got a bunch of questions to ask about this helicopter It's a beautiful machine uh, in the radio control version. I wonder how well it flies in the real version. Well, if they chose this chopper for that mission, it means it's a great helicopter in real life or in a small scale. Either way, we're gonna fly it right now. First thing, we're gonna hook up the battery pack. And because the pilot sits on the battery pack, I have to remove him and that's why he's back there. We have two battery packs for this helicopter. They're 22 volts each. And these two batteries will allow me to fly this helicopter for about 12 minutes. So what I like to do, I like to fly it for eight or 10 and have two minute reserves. So let's hook them up. So now we place the guy in the helicopter and this guy here has its own battery pack hidden under here under magnets and the reason he's got its own battery pack is because I don't like to mix the batteries. I like the helicopter to have its own battery and this guy to have its own. I make these robots myself with my 3D printer and uh, I don't know if you can recognize the model here, but uh, I was so I proud. Right yeah, now. isn't he? Yeah, he's smarter also. He's got nothing in his head and <laughs> he's smarter. But I like the 160 it so much that I wanted to put myself with those guys in the miniature form. With my M16, of course. We got some magnets that will hold everything in place for the flight and that's it, we're good to go. So now I got a bunch of switches here and uh, they allow me to control things like the lights. I can turn the lights on and off with this switch. So I got just like the real helicopter, I got strobe lights, nav lights, anti-collision lights and we can make the helicopter more sensitive or less sensitive. If you look at, that's the nav light. It's always on or off. That one there is the strobe light. We got another strobe light underneath. 
and uh, we try to get the helicopter to do exactly the same as the real helicopter. Even the tail in the back, you can see it moving a little bit right there. The real helicopter does the same. All right. Sunset is now L-A-U-H-1. Only you would think about that. Colors and light angles. And All right, we are ready. <coughs> my best helicopter. I hope I can still fly it because it's been three, four weeks now and I only been flying the other one. All right, here we go. I'm going to start a sound system. This helicopter has a sound system installed and uh, it's got two speakers inside the canopy area glued to the fiberglass. So the vibration from the speaker goes to the fiberglass through the fiberglass out in the open and they say that increases the sound by 10-15% and I think it does. The helicopter flight so nice, look at that. You can even tell the difference between that and the black one. Look at that, how stable it is. 